basically two important tests are your pH here, this one. And I marked, because there was that gal here the one day, I showed her all this stuff and marked things a little clearer. And I don't know if she's still, I think she, no. <laughs> so this is your pH, and of course all this stuff's on here too, you know, your pH, chlorine tests, and some other ones here. But this one here. So which one did you grab there? This one is the pH test. It's, uh, okay. It'd be the. I don't even remember which one. Any red one? Red, 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 cap. red cap would be red corresponding. Cap. Yeah. Any red one. So then this one you just put in one, two, three, four, five drops. And then it's going to turn a color here. You can see it's a little dark, so it needs acid. So anytime you get up here, it's too high. So you want to. You got a pump in here where you push a button and you can feed some acid to bring it down. Ideally, it's in this area here. Okay, middle. Middle colors, yeah, are good. And it wouldn't hurt too to keep a sheet in there on a tablet or something so you can mark it because if you get inspected, they'll probably want you to record something twice a day, I bet you. <laughs> Not that you're going to do that twice a day, right? But yeah. So that's one of the main tests. And this is the other important one. So I'm thinking if you just do them too, there's other tests, but if you concentrate on these two, it should be all right. So this will be your chlorine test, and that's the lower line. So you fill it with water up to there. And then you put in a good scoop of this. And it should turn pink if you got chlorine in there. So obviously there's not much because it's clear. Yeah. See, otherwise what'll happen will turn pink and then you add this one drop at a time until it goes clear like that basically. Yeah, and right. then if say you had six drops, you divide that by two and that would be three parts chlorine. So whatever you get to turn it clear, you divide by two. Per half of your drops. So like I say, six drops would be three parts chlorine. So that's what you'd write down in your sheet. Shut off the water here, and then we'll go inside and see a few things. The pH is kind of high out there, so... See, we could automate all this stuff to do it for you, but this doesn't control this. On this controller, all that does is chlorine, which that don't work anyway half the time. But So if you want a little acid in there, you can dump some in by hand, or just push this button for a little while. That's if the pH is... That's to bring the pH down so the chlorine down. works better. And you kind of get the hang of maybe how much it takes once in a while we added a lot of fresh water so otherwise normally just pushing this for a little bit would be enough we'll see what that does and, and then that there that's nothing you guys got to worry about i guess when the pressure gets up there it's usually time to change that filter or clean it and so i'll get you a new filter and yeah. that one might be shot anyway and here's your heater so i marked all this stuff so if you ever shut anything down in here, you should shut that off. It should shut down automatic anyway. This here, I guess you don't even have to worry about that. That never gets dirty either. Similar filter? That's just a strainer for the pump before it goes to this filter. See, and then it's heated and then it goes through and gets chemicals added. And this is your jet pump right here. So when they push, turn the timer out there, that one comes on. And this is the crazy thing here. I don't know if you want to deal with that situation all the time. It gets clogged up, huh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That raises the ram in there and it drops powder in. Of course, the moisture screws that up all the time here. This whirlpool is it's been here for a while. Since it was built. Oh, yeah. is that how many years ago is that already? Or not that many? But oh, it yeah. was closed for a long five, time, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, half of its life, huh? <laughs> kind of a big cup for what we need, but like I say. 
maybe so, a table, table scroller or so. A table scroller. We could try that. And then if you want it to mix it even faster, you can turn in the jets. And oh, yeah, you can smell it. <laughs> now, our pH was good and our chlorine good, so wherever this is reading, it's probably going to be a good set point. Okay. But what happens as the pH goes up, it'll fool this into either overfeeding, which it would do, but then that might not happen because of that getting plugged up. So, But anyway, if you want to check the pH on here just for the fun of it, not that it's going to do anything for you, your best is testing it and then adding like we did. And so if you push that, this light should come on here. Let's see. Oops, that's right here. This is the pH. So if you hold that, right where that is should be our pH, but it's also got an adjust here too, let's see. So we had about 7.5, so that'd be right there, okay. which don't really matter. The chlorine is the one, only one that really does anything on So this. once we get it set out there, yeah. look at where it is yeah. here and then use that. So right now, see, it went back to our ORP, which is basically chlorine. Put a mark on there. ORP is kind of confusing to people. <laughs> yeah, I guess they bring, but this is pH and that's chlorine, basically. Okay. They're calling it ORP. So that's what we're reading. So basically, that should be actually a good set point then in this range. So we'll just leave that on there, and then if that thing works, it'll keep your chlorine. And if you find it's getting down to nothing, then something's plugged up in there, and then do your hand thing or. Okay. I don't know if they want you to fill in all this stuff or not, but the, like they say, the main things just keep track, you know, by day of your chlorine pH. See, here's all this other stuff. You don't even have anything like that. Combine chlorine. I guess just keep track of the important things there, and then if they want you to do anything else. Well,